All right, what's the order we're going to do this in so we can transition? It's going to be straight to the let's undress it. Hi, I'm Aaron, and I'm Conrad mm-hmm. from Roller Crit. We're here to undress. Um, <clears throat> yeah, how stupid do we want to make this? Oh, stupid. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't watch these videos. And... Hi, I'm Aaron, and this is Conrad. Hi, I'm Conrad. This is Aaron. Nice shirt. Nice shirt. Yeah, well, nice game. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Here's Barcadia. It just came in. And so we're going to open it with you because yours probably just got to your house as well. Or it didn't, and you're waiting for it because we've been waiting for it. We have. Let's peel this thing open. Like, let's both take a corner. I mean, you want to get like the side over there? I'm like, like, we'll... like, we both get in there? <laughs> One, two. Oh, you cheater. First, it's covered with plastic. Waterproof. Now we have this lovely glossy box um, that you helped make, as well as this nice... Very comfortable rope. Very durable. It's very durable. I've at least swung a few games of people in self-defense, and that rope has come in handy. Let's see what's inside, shall we? Ooh. First thing we see here, thank you for supporting the original Kickstarter release of Heroes of Arcadia. Cheers to you, hero. This is your certificate uh, of authenticity. I forgot that we made that pun until now. On, the, on there. I'm excited that people get that. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. First thing we get is the inside box. Now, what's great about this inside box is that if you're with friends and you want to go on the go and you don't want to use this nice, awesome handle that you have, you can bring this single box that carries every component except for the glasses with you. This was something that we really wanted to make sure um, of how we designed the actual game because being able to travel with just one nice small box we felt was an opportunity for something as big as this that packs just as much fun. Correct. What do we want to pick out first? All right. Ah, good choice. So, something that we unlocked during the Kickstarter, thanks to your support, is our turn tracker. So we have a fun little turn tracker here. Comes nice and bagged up. Quick little setup here. Pop that right in. Boom, you forever know whose turn it is. Just don't forget to move it. Yeah, well, exactly. <laughs> so what we found in playtesting this a lot is that everyone forgets what move you have because the more loot cards you play, the better the game is. And so it gets a little distracting at times, and so you'll need this little guy uh, to help you out into your journeys. The next is we have the enhanced D20s. Custom. Custom that are all because of you as well. And so each character has their own color. The one has a skull on it because that is not a good roll. Uh, Anyone that tells you otherwise is lying. Correct. Now, I'm sure there's some games that it's a great roll, but not in this one. 20 is enhanced as well because 20 is great. That's a really good roll. Next, we have our cloth bag that was also a Kickstarter unlock thanks to everyone that supported the campaign. And inside... It's not just one trap. It's a bag of traps that have been enhanced multiple times through the Kickstarter. It's been on the ride. To our nice <laughs> trap bottle cap. These are to represent bottle caps. They do not have any hole in the bottom so that no one's confused to think that they are bottle caps. And these are exciting to put onto rooms as you're playing. It is joyful. You have more than enough to use if you need more than this. That's a very long game. You take the tray out, and what do you find? <gasps> More fun stuff. The golden brown drink. Audio. This is made of real gold. No. It is not made of real gold. Look at the camera. It is not made of real gold. So now you may have noticed when Aaron took out the golden foiled grand drink guardian that it was separated from all the other cards in its own special packaging. Um, that is because we made sure to include a standard gold drink, uh, 
gra- yeah, we made sure to include a and drink audio standard edition in the regular pack so that you have one that you can play with on a daily basis because you have to play every day and one that you can keep nice and protected and safe as your special Kickstarter edition component. Yes, if you'd like to, you can put it in your safe at home. You can frame it. Uh, you can play with it. Um, you can use it as a coaster. Um, I wouldn't chip off the gold and try to resell it. Not made of real gold. So we have made it through the first tier the first of what's tray. inside the inner box, right? First tray. All right. We're moving now to our second and final tray. Mm. And what we have here are all of the. Dungeon tiles, nice and cleanly packed together. And the first thing you'll see on the bottom here is our starting point tiles. Huh? What do we need the starting tiles for? Just to show people that here are starting tiles. Oh, <laughs> okay. These are the unique tiles that we have to, for the starting point. You'll notice the wood grain. Oh. Mm. Now the next thing we would have in here that we wanted to show off are some of our really awesome monsters and a boss that wouldn't exist without your support. So we have th the three of them here. The Demo Bouncer, clearly the Drink Horde, and the drink -a lich As you all know, or may not know, all of these tiles are made of PVC. And these are 0.3 millimeter PVC. It is waterproof. It's 0.4. <laughs> now what's fun about... <laughs> 0.4 millimeter PVC, that is right. That means they are waterproof. You can play underwater, um, you can play over water, and put water on top of it uh, if you need to. And that's just in case you have a little spill. You know, things happen. Life happens, and, you know, we want to be prepared for that. In a liquid life system game, from time to time, some liquid liquid gets spilled. Yeah, shenanigans. And that's not a metaphor. We are now moving into our loot cards. And... Thankfully enough, we have one of our DIY loot cards shown right here, which was an unlocked feature from the Kickstarter. Everyone is going to actually be able to get some of these DIY loot cards in every one of the Kickstarter editions that they uh, have purchased. We've also made them available as a standalone add-on as well, which I think we have right over here. Um, so if you actually want to go and enhance your loot card collection because you have some incredible ideas of how to enhance the gameplay of this, not only do we want you to take advantage of these cards, but please share them with us. We're always looking for fun new ways. We always come up with stupid rules of our own, and we can only imagine the incredibly fun and stupid rules that you will come up with this game. Hmm. I don't know if we would have called them stupid, but yes, I agree. I'm going to judge them preemptively. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and this is also uh, just, it's a party game, and we want your involvement. So, you know, let us know what your loot cards are. Uh, if you have a really great idea, uh, let us know. All right, next let's move on to another awesome Kickstarter exclusive that you guys helped unlock is House Rules. Nothing is better than a party game than actually making some house rules to make things even more interesting at time to time. And you get to do that now. So we'll give you all these different house rules that you'll have that we have built for you. Um, and then we also are keeping it free for you guys as well to make your own house rules. Absolutely, yeah. We've gotten to play a few games now that this has actually been put together because when you know we had the previous edition, these weren't even there for us to mess with yet. Right. And it's definitely added a different flair and some different challenges to the ways that you have to be thinking about playing Heroes of Arcadia. Yeah. The next thing that we have here is uh, a Kickstarter unlock that is not exclusive to the Kickstarter, but is something that we were really excited that we were able to actually get to be unlocked because the enhancement to the gameplay on this is just really awesome for everyone to experience. So we have our signature moves. So each hero of Barcadia is going to be able to take advantage of a signature move. Some get to do it more often than others, but mainly that's got to do with your power scale of your signature move as well. Um, so we have our six here, and these are going to be in your Kickstarter edition as well as all future editions because of the support that you were able to help give us. And all the abilities are themed to each class, and so all of them have to do mm -hmm. with each class. And as you play the game, you'll recognize as well the colors of each one of the, the heroes um, also has to do with their class when you play loot cards. And so if you like Kegar but you don't like his abilities and you really like Flaskin's abilities... Probably want to go with Flask game just because that's the way you play. So that adds a little fun extra twist to it. You can play with it or you don't have to play with it. Keep it simple.
So I think we're down to our last deck of cards in the inner box here, and it is chock full of our loot and power-up cards. So what we're going to do is actually show off some of the Kickstarter exclusive loot cards that came through. We have Battle Face, Mead Deuce's Gaze, we have Angry Mob, and we have four Mimic cards that are all going to come in the Kickstarter edition. Um, on top of that, we have incredible power-ups that are going to be coming in every one of these Kickstarter editions. So we have the very likable elixir, Drain Mail, Decree of Ass Kissing, Troll Repellent, and Infinite Scroll, the Crown of the Wasted, Rune Stone of Bamboozling, Dragon Liver, um, Impressionable Follower, and last but certainly not least, Horn of Counter Spills. Yes, I'm glad you read them all because I would have screwed them up. So mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. I can read. Reading. All right. So now what we're going to do is just put this all back here, and I'm sure Zach is going to speed this up to some goofy music. <laughs> do that for a minute. <laughs> I guess this just goes down here. But Conrad, what else? <gasps> There's more! A bigger box! The box it came in. <laughs> You will also find in the ex Kickstarter exclusive yes. a piece of wood. <gasps> but surely that couldn't be just any piece of wood. It is not. <laughs> oh, I ended up <laughs> <other> <laughs> no. Look, a piece of wood. A piece of wood. He's almost real good at reading. <laughs> reading. But what's on the other side? Bragging rights. Bragging rights, that's right. Uh, if you're playing with friends, it's, you know, we just wanted to make sure that you kept track of that. You want to rub it in their face with a piece of wood. At Roller we know what it feels like to be able to commemorate your winnings um, in front of your friends forever. And we thought, what opportunity would we be passing up to not include a scoreboard that will live forever in your Kickstarter edition? So um, you really should make sure to use only your best friends when deciding to save these scores because they will live forever. Or worse friends. <laughs> so in this case... Girl Ann would be on there, not you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but Conrad, how do I know how to play this game? Um, Mimosa Soros will teach you. It's fine, Aaron can't even read that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he gave me the rule book. <laughs> reading. Luckily, I have the skill of reading! <laughs> it's backwards. <laughs> reading. Reading! Reading. 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 But Conrad, how do I learn how to play the game? Funny you should ask, Aaron. So, uh, during the Kickstarter as well, we actually talked about how a lot of our components are all waterproof, but one of the things that wasn't at the time um, was the rule book. And it wasn't something that was on our radar that people were really concerned about keeping around. But again, we understand why. Rule books get dirty. They get spilled on. You know, things like that happen. And of course in this game. And so now, you know, it's, it's not going to happen. I mean, this is going to be a family heirloom for years to come. So we, we were able to enhance the rule book with uh, water resistant uh, finish. So this is able to withstand spills. It should be something that you could feel confident in just wiping down, putting back in the box so you don't lose out on the glorious rules that Maddie O'Neill has decided you will forever live by when playing this game. That's cool. Now you'll also get in this rule book is all the different exclusives that you have for the Kickstarter edition are in this rule. So things like house rules, how to use them, signature move cards, how to use those, um, etc. Uh, you also have some additional ways that you can play the game because the way we normally play the game or have you seen in the uh, playthrough video is a very traditional way to play the game. There are very other untraditional ways to play the game, which are very exciting. Now I know what you're all thinking. This rule book is great, but it's gigantic. And what if I have tiny hands? Well, we thought of that as well. For people who don't like reading as much, we have set inside of the loot cards as well and the uh, into the deck is you have these little um, action cards that you could put out. There's one for each player and this gives you kind of just a summary of each action you can make and different s rules that you have from rules that come up so you don't have to flip through the rule book every time. And last but not least on the rule book is a thank you to everybody who helped. 
we couldn't have made this without you, truly. Um, and so we have that as well. Um, it feels great. The font is very small. Um, and let's see what else we got. <gasps> you asked for it. You wanted it. Kickstarter exclusive stickers. Stickers. It's what's for dinner. Now, everybody's been asking for this part. Do you want to show them? I think you can do the honors. All right, go for it. The Liquor Nomicon. <laughs> Why is everything upside down? <laughs> <laughs> so the Liquor Nomicon is something again that was birthed from the Kickstarter. It really wasn't on our radar at all of things that people were looking for, but getting to connect with everybody in this awesome community and being able to, to get some ideas, people really came up with this glorious idea of, hey, let's think of drink names. And we actually reached out to the community and asked you to come up with a bunch of stuff and submit a whole bunch of things. Um, it was a lot of fun getting to read some of the things. It was also a little scary, not gonna lie. Some of the things that you think are okay to drink. So um, yeah. I can tell you those did not make it into the Liquor Nomicon. No, whoever um, wrote 100% Everclear. Yeah, was that, that you're right, that is a drink. Um, <laughs> we don't advise that. Now, surprisingly enough, you do not need alcohol to play this game. Right. <gasps> what? <laughs> Oh my gosh, and so we also have some mocktail stuff in here as well. We do. Um, but again, this is uh, this was just a lot of fun putting together, and we want to thank you all for coming up with this as a suggestion and being able to work with us to come up with some great drink ideas and also some really terrible ones. And what we do suggest is that you continue giving us more suggestions. Um, all right, let's get to the creme de la creme. Creme. The cups slash characters. Other games come with minifigures. Ours come with cups. Now, are these cups like solo cups? Um, absolutely not. Are they dishwasher safe? They absolutely are. Hold on, but doesn't the graphic just scratch right off? Certainly. Not. Oh! You can't do that. You know, we have comments below <laughs> to worry about. And we spent tons of time on this so that condensation is not your enemy, nor does it stick to the tiles. I am glad the I'm taking each one of these out. tiles. So Zach, our camera guy, is gonna love all the crinkly paper noises. And so you get the starting six. Of course, each one for their class, and so you have the signature move card that goes with each one of those. Um, on the back of each glass, or cup made of plastic, um, is your liquid life system levels. And so your life levels are here, obviously, as you know, or may not have known, is to keep your level of life that you'll know through the game. <laughs> Zach loved that. No warning at all. <laughs> it didn't break. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> didn't break. You hit the glass. Not even a chip. All right. The only thing broken are my eardrums. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, now that we've gone through everything in the base game Kickstarter edition, we want to go through every fun little thing in the party pack Kickstarter edition. What is the party pack Kickstarter edition for, Aaron? I have more than six friends. You didn't answer what I said at all. I was like, what is that for? I have more than six friends. <laughs> it didn't make sense. Oh, it's your face. You look so unenthused. He was talking and I zoom into you and you're like, I have more than six friends. Oh, no. <laughs> But Conrad, what if I have more than six friends? Well, it's a good thing that we made a party pack. <gasps> so the party pack has everything inside it. Ready? One. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh! So as we were saying, um, the party pack has everything in it that you need to go from the standard base game, which is a four to six player recommendation, to a eight player capacity. 
Um, just like the base game, you have color-coded die. You have special signature move cards, special um, starting tiles, because again, we want to make sure that everybody has a place to start in Heroes of Arcadia. And we have our loot cards and our power-ups. Now, during the Kickstarter, we unlocked some special, I uh, believe, Kickstarter-specific uh, monster and um, loot cards and power-ups as well. Correct? We did. Okay. We did. Let's show them. Let's. <laughs> and... Here we go. Look at all this fun Kickstarter exclusive stuff that you helped us unlock. Let's start with the monster. We have the old fashioned owl bear. We have our loot cards starting here with four disadvantage, four advantage, and one cheers. You also have uh, two new power ups the grapling hook and the Ring of Refreshment, which is also just in the Kickstarter version of the Party Pack. Now, the Party Pack will still be available after the Kickstarter edition is sold uh, out, and so you can always play up to eight players if you would like to. Mm -hmm. I have more than six friends. Um, and how do you separate the decks once you're done playing the game? Well, um, as we know, the party does end sometimes, and you might want to get your base game back into its base game box and party pack back into the party pack box. So we went ahead and made sure to mark all of the party pack cards with a little plus symbol in the bottom left corner so that you can actually know which ones belong in which pack. Mm -hmm. So um, it makes it easier for when you're actually planning on traveling and stuff like that, as we, you saw earlier with the little compact travel box for the base game. Um, or to make sure that you have all of your cards at the end of the night. Maybe you bring it to a friend's house. You don't want to leave anything behind. No, you definitely don't. Nope. Thank you so much for making that so easy for us. Yeah, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> We've been joking throughout a lot of this because this has been such a fun project to work on, and we honestly didn't think that we would get to be at this table for a third or fourth time um, showing off stuff that actually got made by mm -hmm. us and you together. Because um, that's what Kickstarter is about. It's working together and getting some some incredibly we weird and wacky ideas out into the world. No, it was a phenomenal response. And we are very thankful that we got to make this version and that yeah. we get to continue to make a retail version and that we can continue on as Rollercrit. So thank you so much for making this uh, a part of your life and a part of our life. And to continue on the, with the dream that we started out to, to, to really do is to make you awesome, fun project or products that you can bring more friends to the table with. Six friends. Uh, and I think that this game is uh, a very great game for experienced players and a great intro game for anybody who's trying to join the table. Yeah. So thank you so much for making that happen because this is definitely a dream for us. Yeah. If you're interested in learning about more, if you like what you see here and you want to find out more about Heroes of Arcadia or just Roll Crit products in general, because we do make a whole uh, apparel line and accessories we, yeah, and stuff like that, stuff. a whole bunch of things, um, please go to and take a, a little looky-loo around the website there. You can also follow us on the social channels at Rollercrit on all of the channels that pretty much exist. Yeah, so, we got it. Yeah, in perpetuity. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Do you have I'm not using any of that. Yeah. <laughs>